Hello everyone, share life and share technology. So today I will share with you the perfect way on how to install the Google GMS Google Play service on, uh, into your Huawei mobile phone, which is compatible with the latest Huawei Mate series, Mate 30 and Mate 40, and uh, the P series, uh, P40 and P30, and the Nova, Huawei's Nova series, Nova, Nova 6, Nova 5, and also compatible with the Huawei's Honor, you know, Honor series, Honor V30, Honor 30s. And I've tested these solutions on my Huawei P40, and my ROM is uh, EMUI 10. So I can assure you that EMUI 10, which is compatible with these solutions, this solution is uh, nearly an automatic solution. You just only need to do is to install an application and download the application and into your mobile phone and uh, to install it directly into your Huawei EMUI system. Then you can run these uh, Google uh, GMS, Google, uh, Google Play Store directly on your Huawei mobile phone original system. So it is a very easy and straightforward way. And I will show you step by step on how to install the Google uh, GMS, the Google Play service uh, on your Huawei mobile phone. And up to now, I think this solution is the perfect solution uh, comparing with other kind of uh, solutions. And I can assure you that these solutions work, work perfectly on the Huawei EMUI version 10, no matter the model of your Huawei phones, including uh, the Mate series, Nova series, and uh, the uh, Honor series. If your EMUI ROM is 10, then it, is, works, it works perfectly on your phone. And if your EMUI version is 11, then you can test by yourself, to have a try, to see if it work, uh, it work perfect or not on your mobile phone. Okay, I will show you in this video on my uh, mobile phone step by step on how to install this uh, Google GMS Google Play service on your mobile phone. Okay, now let's move to my phone. Let's go. Okay, now welcome to my mobile phone. Uh, my phone is used. I'm, I'm using the Huawei P40, which is very useful for my daily life. The camera, the triple camera, is very strong, and uh, so I will now. Uh, uh, I will show you how to install the Google Google's GMS service on my Huawei P40. Let's have a look at the settings here. The settings to check the ROM's version. Now the version is 10. You can see EMUI version 10.1.0. So it is uh, it is compatible with your Huawei's version, EMUI version 10. I've already tested, then you can, uh, uh, according to my step-by-step, -step, then you ha how to install the Huawei's GMS Google service on your Huawei's uh, mobile phone, including the Honor, Honor series, the P series, Mate series, and uh, the Nova series. Okay, now uh, I will show you how to install it. Let's have a look at, I've already installed the YouTube application, YouTube Kids, uh, with the uh, third-party uh, application store. Uh, uh, APK Pure, but uh, it cannot be uh, no run. You can see, have a look. It said YouTube won't run without Google Play service, which are not supported by your device. So there's no way to run it because I have not yet installed the Google service play, Google service and uh, the Google Play service. Okay, now I will show you how to install it onto your mobile phone. It's no, there's no need to using the uh, PC, the computer. It's only needed to is download an APK application, which is an automatic uh, solution to install the Huawei uh, the GMS. Okay, now let's uh, okay now let's open the browser. You can using any browser to open the address here. I will show, I will give you the link, the uh, web link address here uh, on the down below these videos to show you uh, to uh, for you to to download the Google Fire. This is an automatic solution. After you install the Google Fire, then uh, according to the instructions, you can uh, step by step to install the Google service on your mobile phone, on your Huawei mobile phone. Okay, now I already opened this uh, web link. Then uh, let's go move down to the download link here. This download link is is no, no longer valid. Then you need to here download from APK Mirror from here, then click the download from the APK Mirror to download these applications. Uh, okay, now checking your browser. You can use any browser, the Huawei internal browser is no, no problem. Then the Google file here, then you can click, click, download, okay, to download this file. This is not, uh, let's have a look. The file is around 153 um, megabytes. It's uh, relatively not very big. Okay, after we finish the download, then we will install this application into your Huawei phone. Then after that, then we will open this application to step-by-step -step install the Google GMS. It's very straightforward and very simple. Okay. 
Okay, now finish the download. Let's click click to install this uh, uh, application. Click install. Installing the Google Fire. Okay, finished install. Now let's open it. Okay, so it's very uh, simple. It's, there's some instructions here. Said it is a uh, works um, less than ten. So the version EMUI version is less than ten. It is work perfectly. Then if you are version more than ten point one point oh point one five zero, then you can test by yourself to see if it is work compatible or not. So let's ha let's continue. Never mind. Let me in. Okay, now is some instructions about this Google Fire. The uh, instructions. Let's click next, and uh, you can see this uh, easy to use, out nearly automatic solutions, and uh, it's straightforward. According to step one, two, three, four, five, it's very easy. Just according to its uh, instructions steps, and uh, here is uh, also some. Uh, you can log into your Google account. Very easy, straightforward. Look at Google account and PayPal, which means you can donate to this uh, developer about this uh, Google Fire. Okay, let's just continue. Okay, now according to the instructions, you first thing you need to do is to set your uh, date time to the back one year to 2019. Then, uh, to, I mean, the, you can set uh, switch off the auto date update. Just uh, set your date to the 2019, and then go to the according to the instruction to install the back to uh, uninstall the uh, backup application. Then reinstall the backup. Uh, get backup uh, application. Now we go to the date time. It will auto automatically uh, to send you to the setting of date time to to click off the auto date update to set in the date time to the 2019 here 2019 in the past and click OK to 2019. Okay, now go back to the um, to to that application. Then click the. Uh, uh, instruction again. It will set you will uninstall the uh, backup application. Then uh, reinstall the backup application. Okay, you can see backup application will be uninstalled. Then click yes, reinstall these applications. Then this backup application will be used to re reinstall, uh, restore these uh, settings of uh, here. You can reopen this uh, backup and uh, to restore to restore this uh, your um, settings from your internal drive. Internal drive. Click the uh, inter internal drive to select uh, the uh, back reinstall. Re back restore these um, settings, restore those settings, and uh, key in this password. The password you can see it below this uh, uh, below this key in field here below this box. The password is just uh, there. Just uh, key in this uh, password just uh, down below these uh, instructions. Okay, click OK. Then uh, restore successfully and uh, restore successfully. Okay, now let's move to the desktop. And uh, the first thing you need to do is click this uh, G Google service here to click it. To open this in the background, to click it, and to click this blue button here, click it, and there's uh, some circle is running, circle is running, which is perfect. And if you see any warning said not compatible, then you, uh, your, which means your, uh, your phone is not compatible with this, uh, this solution. So here for my P40, it is work perfectly because there's um, some circles is running, so no problem, it work perfectly. Then let's continue our steps. Okay, go to to the desk, desktop. Then we click the uh, Google Fire to step by step to install this uh, Google GMS service. Let's click the step one, two, three, uh, four, five. Then um, then the unit to do is one, two, three, step by step according to the instructions. Okay, now let's move to click step one. It said installation Google login window will sign pop pop up and press sign in. Okay, so in, according to these instructions, carefully and uh, click OK. Then install this uh, micro G. This is used to log in uh, your Google uh, G Gmail account. Log in your Google account. So, okay, finished load, finished installing. Then click open. Then uh, click account. Okay, then you need to sign in your Google account. The first step will be crashed. Okay, no problem. This is uh, the, the normal step. Then second time, click it. No problem. Then you can. Uh, uh, you can log in to your G Gmail account to synchronize the your um, your Google account. Okay, now key in your Google account. Okay, now click next. Okay, now uh, uh, fill in your password of your Google account. Click next.
Okay, some instructions. Click I agree about the Google account. Okay, so we already logged in the Google account in this uh, Huawei P40 mobile phone. Okay, it's no problem. Then uh, if you have a second account, then you can continue this, uh, these steps again to log in your second Google account. But I, for this step, I only have one Google account to just uh, uh, one uh, log in, log in, logged in. So step two, which means you can uh, log in your second and third and fourth uh, Google account. Uh, so the second uh, stop, uh, so I will uh, jump to the step three because I only, only have one Google account. So the first step is disappeared, which means first step is finished. Then we uh, f go to the step three because step two, which means if you have more than one uh, Google account, then can you can uh, click the step two. So I will jump to the step three because I only have one Google account. Okay, click step three. It will automatically uh, instruct you automatically install the Google's uh, framework one by one, Google GMS one by one. It's very simple and it's straightforward, Google Play. So it's install those applications. It's very easy, so uh, nearly automatically. Install them automatically. Okay, install, done. Okay, we already installed all those uh, applications. Let's have a look. These uh, instructions, and uh, click OK. So, for stop and uninstall, then continue again, install, Google Play service. Done. Okay, let's have a look if the Google Play either works or not. Let's move the Google Play here. And uh, let's have a look. Click it. Try again. Try again. Yeah, we nearly uh, we nearly uh, to the successful steps. We are nearly successful, right? So now we already uh, opened the uh, Google Play service. Okay, so we are already near near literally several steps of uh, successful installation of the Google framework. Okay, now uh, you can see here we can use these uh, applications already. YouTube, TU. Already, you can search for the application you want to install. Okay, I already installed the YouTube. It's okay, no problem. Then we'll go back, then continue our process. Google Fire, then continue. Press Step Three to according to the instructions. Okay, click OK. Install the Google Account Manager. Done. Okay, we nearly finished. Then uh, go back, let's have a look. This, uh, okay, it, it still works perfectly. Then we setting the synchronize here. The Google account synchronize, open it, Google, synchronize, synchronize. Okay, go back, we are it's very perfect. Go back to s Google Fire, then click step three. Have a look at these uh, instructions. Click OK. Full stop, full stop. Uninstall, click OK. Have a look at the instructions, click OK. And install the Google Play service again. Click Done. Go back to desktop to have a look at the Play Store again. Sign in again. Okay, still work perfectly. We nearly finished and uh, let's continue the steps. Click the button 3 again to finish the uh, outstanding uh, the uh, other L steps. Have a look at these instructions. Click OK. Then for stop and go to the data storage and uh, clear data. Okay, clear data then uh, the last, I think the most last step is, is to reboot your Huawei phone. Reboot. Okay, so reboot after reboot your Huawei phone. You, let's uh, have a look at uh, this uh, Play Store, then uh, go back to the Google File to check the last step. It's very simple. After that, then your Huawei phone will 
have the uh, Google Play Store and uh, the uh, Google uh, service, Google service on, on the framework. Okay, we already uh, rebooted and uh, let's have a look if the Play Store works or not. Reboot, then have a look. Seems perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. You can see all the, uh, you can open the application Google Play Store perfectly. Yeah, then you can install Facebook, uh, very straight for Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, it's very cool, right? So now let's go back to the Google Fire. Then uh, never mind, let me in. Have a look. The Google Fire will check which step you already finished, and the and the, uh, uh, the other um, left steps will be finished by this uh, step. So it's uh, uh, it is very simple, right? You can according to my uh, to my steps by steps, you can install this uh, Google service Google Play service onto your Huawei phone very easily. Then uh, if you have any comments, just leave your comments down below. I will read every com comments. And if you think this video is interesting and helpful, then you can thumb up and subscribe to the channel to avoid missing future updates. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.